Good morning, everyone. All right, for some absolutely unknown reason, I decided I'm going to do a video tonight. It is going on, uh, well, it's about quarter to two in the morning. And I just, I've been wanting to do um, a video for Porcupine Tree and uh, Stephen Wilson. I actually, I don't even know why I'm doing this because uh, I'm really tired, but I just decided I'm going to go ahead and do this video for uh, my, it's going to be my digital porcupine tree, Stephen Wilson collection. It's only going to be porcupine tree and Stephen Wilson. It's not going to include um, some of the uh, other peripheral artists like uh no no man uh or um what's the other one uh can't remember which just shows how prepared i am for this um what is that artist it's one i really like too actually Blackfield. See, <laughs> Blackfield, that is a really good, uh, their first album, I think it's just fantastic. And I have it on CD, and I actually have it on uh, vinyl too. But I'm not even going to do that. This is just going to be strictly Porcupine Tree and, uh, and Stephen Wilson's solo stuff. At least, that's what I think it's going to be. So we'll see, because... Sometimes the lines between those artists get kind of blurred. So I'm just going to go ahead and wing it, which is kind of what I do all the time anyway. I am exhausted, and I don't know why I decided I wanted to do this, but I, I, got, I got it all set up. I'm ready to go. So, And again, this is just my CD collection. So I'm going to start off with of course, Porcupine Tree, and of course, uh, on the Sunday of Life is their first, when I say there, I know it's really a band, and yet at the same time, see, it's already blurry. <laughs> at the same time, it's really just Stephen Wilson, this first album. Uh, I wanted to get a digipack, but I have it in this bizarre um, jewel case. I don't know why they use these special jewel cases because I really hate them. But anyway, that's what they do. So this is just a regular jewel case of uh, on a Sunday of, what is it? On the Sunday of life. I really like the early porcupine tree stuff because I think he was just kind of winging it anyway, uh, Mr. Wilson, and, and it's, I like that, see, I like that amateurish early stuff, but it's really, I mean, the guy, he, I guess he had some pretty cool equipment, or, I actually remember reading about it, he, he his father, I think, helped him out a little bit, or maybe his father was just influential and setting him up so that he'd be able to record this music that he was recording really well. But anyway, so this is on the Sunday of, is it on the Sunday of life? I'm gonna forget these titles and everything. I'm, again, the mantra is I am show, I'm simply showing you what I have. So here it is, the first one. And again, it's gonna be basically chronological in terms of when things were recorded. Basically it is. There's gonna be exceptions to that, I suppose. So this is Yellow Hedgerow Dreamscape. This is something I wish I had on vinyl. Boy, I would love to have a copy of this on green vinyl or yellow vinyl, but um, I don't. So. 
This was a re-release from, I believe, 2014. Uh, it looks like it says 2013, actually. So this is... This is a repress on uh, CD. Uh, headphone, headphone dust. A headphone dust repress from 2013. Uh, and this was uh, actually made in Europe. But it's this, it's recordings that were not included on uh, on the Sunday of Life, and I think it's really good stuff. Now, there were there were early pressings that included a um, a Prince cover, and what I have here is actually a um, a pressing. This is just something that I found on, I found all these tracks online and downloaded them. And uh, this includes the cross and yellow hedgerow dreamscape, the title track uh, of the, of the release. 15 tracks. And this has 16 tracks. Yeah. Um, this is like, a uh, UK um, uh, Magic Gnome version release, but uh, I got it. It was a duplicitous uh, uh, download. I this is something that I shouldn't have been doing, but I did it, um, and then I picked this up. So I'm just showing you that th this this alternate version that I downloaded that has. Uh, that Prince uh, song, The Cross, this uh, replaces The Cross with Out, and it separates Out from Yellow Hedgerow Dreamscape. And I think that the track, I think that the, the full time of this disc is about 70, 70, 78 minutes. This is 77.34. This is about 78 minutes, I think. Or maybe it was 76 minutes, but it's, it's in the ballpark there. So, anyway, that's Yellow Hedgehog Dreamscape. Two different versions of that. Ah, on the Sunday of Life. There you go. I actually forgot that I had this. Um, so this is the... Um, not, it's not a jewel case. Hey, let's go on. Take a look at what we got here. Yeah, this is so much nicer. All right, nice booklet in here too. It's nice to, stay, uh, to give you kind of a some text that uh, gives you some background on the uh, the time that this was recorded and where I guess Stephen was at. Some pretty cool uh, illustrations in here, and, and you get the lyrics for the music that's on this disc. Yeah, I, 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 this guy's early stuff is just awesome. Some of the later stuff, it gets to be a little bit more hard rock, and it's not quite my style, but uh, I picked it up anyway. And again, I'm not really familiar with a lot of the, um, the heavier stuff. But uh, I really... I really kind of dove in and I really like the early stuff. So I just started buying everything so that I would have a copy of it. <clears throat> All right. So there's, there's the 
its first album. And let's just put it there like that. Uh, here is the Snapper release. This is a later release of um, The Sky Moves Sideways. And uh, really nice because um, this is a double disc set. See what I'm holding up here. <laughs> so cool, that friggin' phone booth in the middle of nowhere. That's just in case you end up there and now you got a phone booth. Isn't that special? So, but anyway, the sky moves sideways and this is uh, basically the second official uh, release after, on, on the Sunday of life. <clears throat> but beautiful, two CDs. And the second disc contains an alternate version of the Sky Moves Sideways. Um, yeah, this is cool, man. I, I, it's a, it's a, it looks like what they did was, when they say alternate version, it's a 34 minute alternate version of the Sky Moves Sideways and uh, the first disc has uh, phase one and then phase two. Phase one is about 18 minutes long. Phase two is about 16 and a half minutes long. And when you, uh, when you add that up, it's about 34 minutes. So I'm, I'm wondering if they just, if this is a, a version where um, it's both parts that are spliced together basically. In other words, I guess maybe what he did was separate the two so that they uh, bookended the tracks on, on CD1. And then there's uh, the song Stars, uh, this is on CD2. Stars Die, great tune. Uh, and then Moon Loop, Improvisation, which is about 16 minutes long. And Moon Loop, Coda, which is about five minutes long. That's disc two. But when I started collecting this stuff, you know, uh, I did some research on uh, Stephen Wilson and what the heck was out there. And um, <clears throat> I realized that a lot of the, um, there were a lot of re-releases that were coming out that uh, had more like extra material. So I always go for the extra material right, so here's up the downstairs again this is well this is k-scope but this has two uh two cds as well it's like a chunkier thicker package too it's like a little bit more sturdy i have to say it's real nice up the downstairs comes with a nice solid booklet you get the lyrics in here you do get a, a, an essay that probably yeah <laughs> yeah this is cool um, up the downstairs all right two disc set so that you get up, up the downstairs 2004 version on CD1 and uh, CD2 has uh, tracks. Oh, it's called Staircase Infinities with Cloud Zero, The Jokes on You, Navigator, Rainy Taxi, and Yellow Hedgerow Dreamscape, a nine and a half minute version of Yellow Hedgerow Dreamscape. So. 
cool, man. Let's just put this away. Yep. Uh, here is Vo Voyage 34. It makes you wonder if uh, if Wilson dropped some acid and then started doing this music. It's so bizarre. And this is the Snapper uh, release, not K Scope, but Snapper. It's a later release. I think that this has some extra material on it as well and a nice booklet <laughs> look at this <laughs> i'm gonna show you this picture because it's so fucking bizarre jesus christ I have a dental appointment on Wednesday. It makes me not want to go. Is this what's going to happen to me? Holy mackerel. So, um, and this is great. You get this little insert with this particular release that shows you what else is available. And, uh, God, this guy was prolific. Yeah, this is pretty bizarre stuff. So anyway, um, Voyage 34 in four parts. They're all under 20 minutes, but one, like the first part one is like uh, almost 13 minutes. Part two is 17 and a half. Part three is 19 and a half. Part four is almost 14 minutes. So there, he, there's a lot of music packed in here. And uh, I thought this was pretty interesting and, and really bizarre. And bizarre is not a bad thing in my book. Bizarre is kind of cool. And in most cases, bizarre is gonna be uh, interesting. All right, there you go. Voyage 34. kind of like Heinz 57 only different <laughs> ah here is a uh, a box set uh, called stars die it is a double disc set uh, featuring the delirium years from 1991 through 97 as you can see on the the sticker Ooh. This came uh, with an excellent, really thick booklet. So, um, and I, I believe that there's actually, ah, yeah, he, he just has entries about each track, basically, that's in here. But this is beautiful package. Yeah, this came out in a double disc set, but then um, I found out about this box and I said, I like the box. I like the box set, so let me get the box set. And yeah, disc A is 1991 through 93. Disc B is 94 through 97, basically. What a beautiful package. There you go. If you want to freeze it. God, am I shaking or? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There you go. Yeah, this is cool box. And, and uh, you know, I got to say, 
Uh, I found myself listening to this uh, more than twice when I first got this thing. It's really good. It's a good collection of uh, his material. Or porcupine trees material, I should say. All right, so um, here is Signify. <clears throat> I don't know what is going on here, but I hope it's consensual. I have no clue. This is a um, K-Scope release with two CDs. Nice booklet in here. And uh, CD2 is kind of subtitled Insignificance. Signify and Insignificance. There's the track listing. Um, I'm not real familiar with this uh, album. I'll be honest with you. It's the earlier stuff that I really gravitated to, and I picked, I picked the, I, I picked this up because, um, you know, I just wanted to complete my collection. And then, of course, I never did get around to listening to it because, you know, life's distractions. You got to work for a living, and uh, you put on another album instead of this, and then uh, time goes by, and you just find that you don't ever really get to this album so but anyway i have it i will listen to it one of these days i mean at least i have it for when i want to listen to it here is metanoia and i believe that these are recordings that were done around the same time as uh signify this is a snapper release tracks right you have them in the back here two oops oops yeah see I can't even get this to focus on this stuff I wonder why that is. I wish I could figure that out. But anyway, nice package. With no booklet, uh, the information is right here on the on the six panel fold out. But I seem to remember, if my if my memory's not failing me, that these are recordings that were for the most part anyway, if not all of them, where we're done around the same time as Signify. Ah, here is Stupid Dream. This is, I believe, K-Scope, yep. This was, Stupid Dream was actually the second uh, uh, Porcupine Tree release that I picked up long time ago when borders books still existed i went to borders books and found um one album uh porcupine tree album and i was just fascinated by the cover it's the next one i'm going to show you here's stupid dream and this is this is a 2005 stereo uh, mix And it is actually a two disc set where uh, you get a CD and then you get the DVD with the surround sound mix. You get a 2005 stereo mix of the album and you get um, 5.1 surround sound mix. And I think you get a couple of extra tracks. Yeah, Ambulance, ambulance Chasing, 5.1 mix. Even less full length version, 5.1 mix. Even less. 
you get the f a full length version of Even Less. At, clocks in at 1407. Uh, the version on on the CD, well, on the DVD as well, Even Less is the very first track. And it's uh, only about, it looks like it's about seven minutes. So, you see, you get cool, it's cool stuff like that. And uh, I love it. I love that kind of thing. Yeah, even less is seven minutes and 11 seconds. But on the, on the, on the surround sound uh, DVD, you get a longer version of it. It's about twice as long. So... And Ambulance Chasing, I think, was actually a single, if I remember correctly. But really nice package. Here's the first, the first thing I ever bought that, uh, that was uh, from Porcupine Tree, a light bulb sun. I saw this and I just thought, wow, look at this package. It's just, I don't know, man. The colors on that cover told me I want to buy this. And that was the start of my fascination with this band, Porcupine Tree. This is another K-Scope uh, release with two, C with two discs, a CD and uh, a DVD with surround sound mix. And again, there's additional material on here. Um, disappear, a 5.1 mix. Buying New Soul, 5.1 mix. Cure for Optimism, 5.1 mix. Wow, it's really amazing. All the, uh, the material at this I mean, this is such a prolific artist. <laughs> Plus, you get, um, I believe that the, uh, yeah, the, the, um, the CD contains a 2007 stereo mix. The DVD contains an, uh, an audio stereo album mix, uh, the original 2000 stereo mix. So if you have a lot of time, you can ex you can explore all that stuff. I wish I had a little bit more time. But I was not born a Kennedy, so I don't have that kind of time. Here is um, a K-Scope release of uh, Porcupine Tree recordings. These are tracks that were recorded around the same time as these two albums, I, I believe. They're like extra tracks that they just compiled to release on CD. And I remember listening to this and thinking, man, this is a damn good album. It's, it's amazing because it was really just a compilation of, tra of recordings that they had done. I think that were released as singles, uh, maybe some stuff that was not released. Yeah, Even Less, there's a 13, uh, like a 14 minute version of Even Less on here. Uh, so if you didn't get the, uh, the, the DVD, the, 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 the double disc K-Scope version of Stupid Dream, you can get that long version of Even Less on here. It's not in surround sound, but you get it. Yeah, not, this is K-Scope. K-Scope, it does say uh, copyright is owned by Snapper Music, so I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, recordings. Here is Uh, here is um, In Absentia. And this is a two disc set.
This has a uh, two CDs. It's got CD one. Of In Absentia. Nice booklet in here. And then uh, there is a bonus disc. All right. So the bonus disc contains three songs. Uh, Drown, Drown With Me, Chloroform, and Strip The Soul Video Edit. So Strip The Soul is track 11 on the regular album, but there's a video edit of, of that song, and it's on the extra disc here. And this was... Just hold on a minute. Let me just find out what's going on here. Atlantic Recording Corporation. Is this a... This is a, a two, copyright 2002 Lava Records. United States and WEA International. Um, but what is the... CD. So it's got enhanced material on the main disc here. That's probably a bad idea to be slipping that back and forth. Yeah, In Absentia is an album that I don't, I'm not very familiar with. And I, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of, well, maybe less than a handful of porcupine tree uh, fans of porcupine tree watching this video because I don't get a lot of people watching my videos but um, they'd probably be like why do you have all this stuff if you don't listen to it I just didn't get around to it I just didn't I'm gonna find myself with a lot of time on my hands so This is In Absentia, the DVD audio version of In Absentia. So DVD audio. So if you got that surround sound system and you want to crank it up, here it is. Now th this is uh, interesting because it actually looks like it was a cutout. This is on Lava Records as well. It's either a cutout or a promotional version because there's a hole punch in the, uh, in the, uh, that barcode. Uh, but this is interesting. Uh, Drown With Me, Chloroform, and Feudal. It's, this, this has uh, three bonus tracks, and uh, two of them are the same as on here, on that bonus disc. But the third track is a track called Feudal, or Futile, and... So yeah, here you get uh, DVD-A, DTS, and PCM Stereo, 2.0 Stereo. Uh, exclusive bonus tracks, blah, 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 blah. So this is um, DVD audio. Audio disc. Here's the back. Check it out. Ah, this is a Japanese Japanese pressing of Dead Wing. Um, this came with a bonus uh, CD, which was just a compilation of other 
uh, of uh, different um, porcupine tree tracks. So, but I, when I saw this, I just, again, I am uh, drawn to the Japanese uh, release that contains um, an extra CD of material that most, well, I think it's basically, it's all previously released, but they just compiled it on uh, onto a bonus disc and there's that disc and I really like I what I ended up doing was playing the bonus disc all the time because I really liked it for the sake of brevity I just will um Suggest that if you want to find out what's on the bonuses, just look it up on Discogs. But anyway, there you go. Um, the Japanese release with the bonus compilation disc. And let's get this. Again, Deadwing is an album that I really have. I, I think I listened to half of this album. And I... And I didn't even bother finishing listening to it. Which I, ha I have a feeling that some people would consider that sacrilegious. Here is... Uh, the DTS Surround Sound uh, uh, disc... I did have a surround sound system, and I don't remember playing this. I was playing Yes all the time. Uh, and Todd Rundgren. Uh, yeah, this has three exclusive DTS surround music bonus tracks. Uh, Remnant. Mother and Child Divided and Half Light. As you can see, there's your track listing. So, but I have it when I, one of these days I'm gonna have to set up my uh, surround sound system again. There's a lot of stuff that I actually wanna hear on surround sound. And that one, that might be the thing to crank up. And here is a CD single uh, of Lazarus from that album. I don't know how rare this is, but I picked it up. This was released March 2005. I actually, here's the disc itself. And uh, yeah, the Lazarus EP, Lazarus, the radio edit, which is at 355, so called friend 448, and Half Light 620. And I believe that those, uh, those two. The second and third tracks are not on the album, which is why I picked this up. If I remember correctly, again. But nice package. Another so called friend in half light. Ha! It's cool because I see the three bonus tracks on this and Half Light is included, but uh, So-Called Friend is not. Of course, you get the full version of Lazarus. So So-Called Friend is an odd track. Uh, it's not on here, is it? Oh, 
the first the first CD shows that there are 10 tracks on it while the back of this thing shows there's nine tracks on here so let me just ah you know what screw it if you want to find out man just look it up on discogs that's what I should be doing instead of wasting your time pulling stuff out so there you go Lazarus EP I have no idea what the value of that thing is. But, all right, here is... Um, oh, that's so funny. Fear of a blank planet. And uh, this is... Almost everything I got was like a special release. Uh, nice box set that I picked up. Fear of a Blank Planet. This includes well, there's six tracks on the uh, proper album. Uh, it, this includes a disc uh, DVD with a 5.1 version. Like there's a case scope catalog in there. Here's the 5.1 mix DVD. Here is what the hell is this? Oh, this is the booklet. And here's the the regular CD. All right, so you just get the album on this like little card. You get a 5.1 mix in here. I'm not seeing any extra tracks. Just a list of guests. You get uh, Alex Lifeson on guitar on Anesthetize. You get Robert Fripp, Soundscapes on Way Out of Here, and John Wesley uh, backing vocals. So he was a guest as well. And. Uh, I got the windows open and I'm hearing sounds out there and I didn't know what the hell it was. But anyway, so this is this cool box set that has a CD and a DVD with surround sound. So I have all these albums on surround sound and I never did get a chance to listen to, to any of these. I think Light Bulb Sun I put on uh, the the, uh, the DVD at, at one point. Wanted to check out some of the bonus material on there, and I figured, well, let me check this out. I don't even remember. I don't remember. Ah, here is the incident. This is a two CD set with. Um, a bonus disc with four extra tracks. <laughs> yeah, so I picked this up with two CDs, right? You get the bonus disc with Flickr, Bonnie the Cat, Black Dahlia, and Remember Me Lover. And, um, here is the DVD and DTS disc with the same material, basically. The same audio material, except it's a surround sound. Yeah. So Stephen Wilson was getting plenty of practice doing uh, surround sound mixes, I, I gather, so that uh, you could he could start working on all those Tull uh, albums eventually, which is what he ended up doing. Which was great. Thank you, Steven, for those. They're awesome. And here is... Whoops. Here is a Japanese... A 
Japanese uh, release of Nil Recurring. And this has, I know that Nil Recurring has four tracks. This has five listed. I think that one was maybe a uh, an edit. I can't remember though now. Well, again, that's something that I guess you can look it up if you really want to know. No recurring uh, extra material, basically, I think, from these sessions, and uh, I think. With Robert Fripp on that, on here, too. He was keeping busy with uh, with Stephen Wilson, and I I guess that explains why Stephen did the uh, surround sound mixes for uh, most of the King Crimson stuff, right? If not all of it. Uh, I was back in the um, you know around 2008, 2009, 2010. I was getting into this material. I was getting into Porcupine Tree. And I guess uh, uh, I had access to, um, like I was, I was checking out the discography of the band. And um, if I noticed that there were, uh, there was material that I didn't have, like I didn't have enough material to listen to because I haven't even gotten to what most of these albums or many of them anyway. Uh, but if I found there was material that I didn't have that wasn't on any of these albums, uh, I would end up uh, looking for it, and I would, if I could, I would download it. Here's a, a disc full of material that has stuff that I just downloaded. I was like, wow, I just want, I just want everything I can get my hands on. Odds and sods, gold. Yep, and there's a gold disc with uh, <laughs> with all the material on it that I just happened to find and would download. So that's Porcupine Tree. I'm gonna zip through uh, Stephen Wilson material. And I did listen to uh, most of this stuff. I did listen to most of it. Some of it I didn't. This is Unreleased Electronic Music Volume 1. This is not available, I don't believe, on CD. So, <laughs> so I, I was reading about the discography. I found out about these tracks. And this is, there's, 20, there's 63 minutes worth of material on this that's packed in here all right so this was unreleased electronic music volume one Unreleased Electronic Music Volume 1, Stephen Wilson. Released April 2004. I, uh, I'm not sure when this stuff was re recorded, but uh, that's when uh, it was released on, I believe, on an LP. And I, I don't believe it was released on CD. I could be wrong, but I think that I am right. But I just found the material and just, and just pulled it and burned it to this disc. Very unethical of me. I'm ashamed of myself. Here is um, uh, ins Insurgents, Insurgentes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a K-Scope release, Insurgentes. He's prepared for anything, this guy. So it comes in that little slip case. And 
you know, it's pretty awesome because um, this contains a CD and then it contains a DVD of the surround sound mix. So there you go. I gotta say, man, Steven Wilson, the guy's so freaking busy. Here is Insurgentis Remix. These are remix tracks. I found that there were all kinds of different mixes, and um, I ended up burning these all these tracks to a disc so 73 minutes worth of mer uh, worth of uh, material I'm like oh, Christ here is um, hmm. Stephen Wilson tape experiments 85 and 86. These were uh, tracks posted by Stephen Wilson on SoundCloud, downloaded with the writer's permission. So, um, youthful feeblings. He was just a kid and he was having a good time. It's about 37 and a half minutes worth of material. And um, this was available on SoundCloud and you could, you were allowed to download this. So, so I did that. Freaking generous of Stephen Wilson. I ended up, I ended up making a poster. <laughs> you can fold and store it in there. And this has talks about cries of Lucia. This is very, very blurry. It's not real clear, but it is legible. It's leg it's clear enough to read. So, anyway, I, I made this stupid po poster and I stuck it in here with this thing. But there are only seven tracks on, on, the, uh, on the album. Or there were seven tracks that were available to download. So, I did this. This is what I got. And... wild that he uh, it's cool that he allowed you to do that it makes me feel makes me feel awful that I downloaded all this other stuff but I I did I spent a lot of money on a porcupine tree stuff and Stephen Wilson stuff it doesn't make it right but um just saying. All right. Tape experiments, early material that Stephen Wilson made available on SoundCloud. Pretty awesome. All right, here is uh, Grace for Drowning. This is uh, a double disc set. Uh, I remember, I do remember playing this. I don't remember what it sounded like, but I think I enjoyed it. I do like this package, it's really awesome. Yeah, this is a, uh, a double disc of material it's not a CD DVD package. It's the two CDs worth of uh, audio material, and Grace for Drowning, man. And here is back in 2012, the Raven that refused to sing. <clears throat> And I, I, I didn't 
purchased this, I ended up uh, downloading these tracks and then I included uh, Luminol Live in Mexico City, a 12 and a half minute version of uh, Luminol Live. So I packed material, I packed this disc with seven tracks. And I have to say, I really did like this material. I should really buy the damn album. But, I, I, but then I expanded that, so I, I like doing stuff like that. Uh, here is Drive Home. This is a, uh, a DVD CD package. Hey, look at this thing. Like a mini album. No uh, jewel case. I can appreciate that. Here's the package. Here's the CD in this little this little thing here. Ah, huh, DVD. And there's the CD. Handsome little critter, isn't he? Drive home. I don't remember listening to this. It's a beautiful K scope release. CD, DVD. Nice, man. This is nice. I'm curious about it. Ah, here's a box, a uh, box set of cover versions. Six CDs. I think there's more stuff in here. And, oh, I think I remember what's in here. Oh, yeah, here's the booklet for the box. Yeah. I thought this was really neat, and uh, I couldn't resist it. Um, a box set of cool material by Stephen. Um, I remember... This, yeah, here you go. Six, six CDs. And there's only two tracks on each one of these. And these were also released on, uh, on vinyl singles. Uh, something that I will never own because I'm sure they are probably, and probably through the roof cost. But I do remember when uh, Vapor Trail Lullaby was released. And I, I scored a copy of this. I can't remember if this was free or if you could get this for free if you ordered something. I forget how that worked. But um, I actually am keeping it in... Um, yeah, this is nine nine minutes long and I remember playing this and I was thinking cool uh, this is really cool but I keep it in this box because it fits so perfectly with those other little packages those other six discs 
and the booklet's in there too. So I just keep it in here to help protect it. But this is a neat little package. And I remember what I ended up doing with these tracks. Um, was was uh, downloading them to my computer and then burning burning them all to one disk. And then I made a little booklet. I figured, let me burn these all to one disk and then And then I made, I burned them all to one disc, but what I ended up doing was finding one other, I found, I, I, I burned Vapor Trail Lullaby. Uh, I included that in this package, but I found another, um, another um, cover song that he recorded by the Cardiacs, Stone Age Dinosaurs. So, I made <laughs> okay here I go again I made this booklet which includes basically the artwork from all right one two three four five six all right basically it just includes a lot of the artwork if not all of it from this package that box set but then, but then I added those um, those two tracks, Stone Age Dinosaurs by the Cardiacs. That's Stephen Wilson's cover version of it. And then Vapor Trail Lullaby. So you get two extra tracks on here. And I just did it because I wanted to uh, make it so that if I was going to listen to this in my car, which I ended up doing, driving back and forth to work. This way I didn't have to keep switching out um, the CDs and blah, 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 and all that stuff. So I just made it so it was it was just a convenience. I actually paid for these tracks, except maybe for Stone Age Dinosaurs. I don't know how, I guess I downloaded that and I found out it was a Cardiacs cover. And so I just included it in the, in the, in the, in the package here. And this was a total of about 70 minutes, 69 minutes. 69 minutes long. Here is um, <coughs> Hand Cannot Erase. And I remember listening to this back in 2015 or 2016. And it it did not grab me, I gotta be honest. I did, this just was so bizarre to me. So, but it is a beautiful package, gotta say that. Uh, CD, DVD package. Here's an EP, um, Stephen Wilson, what is this, three and, what is this, four and a half? listening to this six six tracks on here so and here is to the bone Stephen Wilson to the bone I've listened to the uh, vinyl version of this because I have that so I did listen to this I just didn't listen to it on the CD <laughs> I listened to it on the album but I got the CD in case I want to listen to it in my car. 
that's it, man. That is uh, Porcupine Tree and Stephen Wilson. Uh, a little over an hour. Uh, I hope I didn't make you sick or bore the hell out of you, but uh, that is everything that I have. I put your Pine Tree and Stephen Wilson on CD, and I hope that everybody has a great friggin' day.